Hello, welcome to Apocalypse Otaku. I'm your host, Char, and I'm here to give you your anime voice actor birthdays, your adult swim schedule, and some... I don't know. It's... It's MCU-related, so it's kind of like MCU-adjacent, so... Anyway... Let's see, today is the 25th, and there are no birthdays today, so we'll go on to the news, and this is, uh, I guess it was um, written by someone at Screen Rant. Uh, it's called a life-sized Tom Holland Spider-Man bust is terrifyingly realistic. And I am looking at it and I swear to you, it looks exactly like him. And I was just... I was looking at it. it looks exactly like him. And it was for the an uh, Infinity War. I guess it's a part of the Infinity War saga. Anyway, based on the characters Avengers Infinity War appearance, a new bust of Tom Holland as Spider-Man is pricey, but compared completely realistic. Is it so realistic? There's a new terrifyingly lifelike bust of Tom Holland as Spider-Man, and it costs a lot. Tom Ho Holland has been synonymous with Spidey ever since he made his Mar MCU debut playing the friendly neighborhood hero in 2016's Captain America Civil War. From that point on, he's reprised his role for two solo films and supporting roles in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Next, he'll headline Spider-Man No Way Home which has been the subject of plenty of speculation. Holland has managed to carve out a corner of himself as Peter Parker with many fans arguing that he is the best Live action version of Spider Man. A big element of that is due to the actor's ability to convey Peter's youthful kindness and naivety. Even in the face of bone-chilling threats, this, quali this quality was on full display during the pivotal final moments of Infinity War as Peter slowly turns to dust in the arms of his mentor, Tony Stark. It's an unforgettable scene which fans will soon be able to commemorate with 
a super, re super realistic bust. As reported, as reported by io9, a new hyper realistic bust of Holland in the role of Spider Man is up for pre orders. The statue, 28 inches tall, is based on Holland's Iron Spider <laughs> look in Infinity War. The item is available for order now from Queen Studios. The cost is a considerable... Please try not to faint. Uh, $3,680. dollars And the product will ship out to buyers in the winter of 2022. Given the detail on the collectible, fans might just be tempted. Okay. You can check out a photo there's a they have a photo of it in the uh um article the collectible the collectible is made from platinum silicone with artificial hair and glass eyes as for the memorable iron spider suit it's made from polystone Due to the success of the MCU and the popularity of Spider-Man as a character, the superhero has a bevy of merchandise. From an assortment of Funko Pops to a variety of t-shirts, there are a lot of ways for fans of Holland's Spider-Man to show their fandom. The bust is definitely on the higher end of terms of its price range, though it's crafted with care and a keen eye for the details of one of Holland's most important appearances in the MCU. Considering that Holland's future with Marvel is unclear after Spider-Man No Way Home, it, it must it might be too cool too cool to own such a lifelike bust of the uh, actor's version of Peter. For his part, Holland has said that he'd be happy to play the web-swinging superhero, superhero for many more years to come. But in other remarks, he's also indicated that he hopes to take a bit of a break from acting. No Way Home is sure to include many surprises with rumors swirling that past Spider-Man performers and other similar faces will cameo. Regardless, regardless, regardless of what happens when the movie arrives in December, it's evident that Holland has left his mark mark on the on the character. The fact that a costly collectible is selling out so fast, services as other example 
serves as another another example of the impact that he's had, which is very, very true. I mean, Tom Holland really is, you know, the best actor than, I, in my opinion. First it is Tom, then it comes Toby, and then Andrew. So... What do you guys think? If you get a chance, take a look at the picture. It's on Screen Rant. Look, uh, for look for life size Tom Holland. Spider Man bust is terrifying, terrifyingly realistic. Or just you know, look up Spider Man bust on Google Pictures. And let me know what you think in the comments below or on Apocalypse Otak 1. And now we're going to go on to the Adults Room Schedule. Starting at 9 o'clock, we have Bob's Burgers at 10 o'clock, American Dad at... I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong schedule. Wrong day. All right, starting at nine o'clock, you have Bob's Burgers at le at. Okay, ten o'clock, you have American Dad. At eleven o'clock, you have Rick and Morty at, at midnight, Robot Chicken, and then at twelve thirty, you have Aqua Teen Hunger Force. One o'clock in the morning is Venture Brothers. One thirty is going to be Rick and Morty. At two thirty is going to be Robot Chicken. At three a.m. is going to be Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Three thirty is going to be the Venture Brothers. Four a.m. is going to be Tim and Eric's uh, bedtime stories. At four thirty is going to be home movies and. To round out your night, if you're still awake, is going to be Bob's Burgers. And now, we have your releases for the past few weeks. And I'm sorry, I have not been on. Um, uh, October. October the 12th was Kuma 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 Bear Season 1. Uh, and that was it for that week. October the 19th, The Disappearance of, of Nagato Yuki Chan, uh, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, and that's a combo set. Uh, let's see. Naruto set five episodes one eleven through one thirteen one thirty seven. Blah. Uh, Nozo Kimi, and then say I love you, and and finally Vampire Night. Complete Collection. That is actually a good show if you like vampire shows. To let you know, there is a huge twist at the end that you will not see coming. <laughs> okay, and then finally for this week, October, this coming week, uh, October, well, today, uh, a letter to Momo. That's a combo set. Seat Hunter. The complete first series. Hajime. No Ippo. The, f the Fighting. TV series collection three. 
Higurashi when they cry. G O U season one part one. Lupin the Third, Part 5, Episodes 1 through 24, plus OVA, plus of uh, Season 5. The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, Seasons 1 and 2. Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans Complete Series. That's an excellent show. Mm-hmm. Sergeant Frog Season 1. Shaman King Season Original Series. She the Ultimate Weapon. Shirobako, the movie. That's a combo set. Venus Wars. And finally, Wandering Witch, the journey to Elena. And that's it for your releases. That's it for Tuesday. So... If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscription button now. And also, ring that bell if you are not subscribed and you want to know when we drop a new video. That's what tells you. Um, And then also, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. And also, tell you... Anybody who likes anime or the MCU or both. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.